Your team twice got yourselves into a winning position today, so how frustrating not to finish it off and pick up all three points. Yeah, very frustrating because on the end, okay, you concede the first half after to score, and then you you concede in the last few minutes. I think always is you feel very disappointed and frustrated because you should win the game in this in this moment. But for different circumstances, we concede and and on the on the end is the draw. I want to say also now with the draw on in our hands, I think it's fair result. If you analyze the game, I think even if we control, we have the possession, but on, on the end we didn't create enough. But and then we didn't show the the capacity to be solid and to you know and be strong. Uh, that no concede in goals, you know that is is the most um, I think painful situation. How do you put that right? Because it, it's not the first time it's happened. No, it's a, it's a thing that is is happened. I think the first part of the season, I think we were a little bit more solid. We didn't create too much or we didn't score. Because I think we were creating, but we were not clinical. Now we are uh, scoring more, but we are conceding more. I think that is, is about, you know, the, the difficult thing is to find the balance. We try to play in, you know, um, adapting the system in, with different players also, with different, you know, uh, situation on the pitch and tactics. Uh, you know, uh, doing different uh, adjustment, but you know the, the team is not showing the last, you know, uh, few months the capacity to be solid. Even if now I think after both uh, we didn't lose a game in Premier League, but I think we score goals, but we are conceding, and that is why is is uh, is punish us. No, but uh, now we need to be. Positive in the way that okay we have another game uh, Monday we need to rest recovery and and be ready. <clears throat> yeah. Hi Mauricio. Hi. You mentioned adapting the system there for today's game. Was that to do with the way Sheffield United play? Or no, no, was no. That I say your... adapting in different way. We play again Brentford with different system mm. and today using different uh, animation with the ball and without the ball. Uh, because of the circumstances of the player that we we had uh, fit, um, yes, we are trying to find solutions, uh, but on the end, still for different circumstances, I think also because of the uh, the situation is is not easy to uh, to be solid. Uh, no, but I, I am saying no that uh, we change because of uh, of Sheffield is uh, trying to explain in the in the question before that. Uh, we are trying to find solution about to be more solid, you know, and not to concede too much like uh, we are we are conceding. Late goals have been a big problem this this season. Conceding late goals, um, I'm sure you've looked at it a lot with your players. What what do you think are the are the big problems? No, I think we were talking a lot. It's, it can be too many in too many as aspect. Um, that is a new a new team with uh, profiles. You know, on the squad that uh, uh, we are learning, um, the combination sometimes, you know, is that is why the process to build a team is always take time. It's not uh, a magic thing. And that is why uh, always a project, when we talk about project, we talk about three, five years when in a process to build a, a team. And, and now, even if we are taking good results in Premier League in the last, and, and now we are in semi-final of the of the FA Cup, yes, of course, because we are, um, we were not in a good position from the beginning. Of course, that is affecting also the uh, to be calm and to and to perform in different way. But I think it's it's normal process that is happen, and we need to accept. But working and try, you know, to. Uh, to fix this type of problem, and of course, uh, always that you know, always when arrive, you know, the end of the season, we need to analyze the squad and see what we are missing, and try to add uh, uh, people with the capacity, you know, to provide what uh, uh, we are seeing today to try that, you know, improving in the in the in the season uh, in the next seasons. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, um. Chelsea have failed to do the league double over Sheffield United, Burnley, 
won't do it over Everton. Um, it seems the players that have been put together, not by you, but put together, aren't good at scrapping. I think it's about to compete. It's about to compete. It's about to compete. And for different reasons, we struggle to compete this type of games, in this type of games. We were talking in the half time. I think the way that we approached the game was fantastic. We cannot talk about rubbish scenes, you know. Uh, we scored, we were better, we, we were under control, but in some action like this, we concede from nowhere. And that is about to have, you know, be more competitive. And, and then we were so sloppy and start to, okay, we are going to score, start not to respect our position on the pitch in a, in a positional game. And I think, yes, it's, it's about the combination. It's about, it's about uh, that we were talking before. It's to identify the profile, of course, and see. We are learning how the player need to learn <laughs> from our demand, uh, like a coaching staff. And on the end, take decision. Always in football, you can only fix through decision. Like happened with different clubs that they today are on the top. Always a process to build and to have the capacity, you know, to take decision. Because in football, if you want to affect, you know, performance and build something strong, it's about to take decision, but right decision, and decision that always. You need to be agree with uh, in the between the coaching staff, the sporting director, of course, and the and the owners. If not, it's it's not easy to to improve. I can ask you about Thiago Silva and his situation. Are you in a position where you have to think of the future and the project in terms of, of playing him a lot? Um, and would, would you expect him to to be here next season? No, I think it's a scene that. We, at the moment, so far, we are we were not talking about the the future of the of the player in the squad. I think we are competing, and that is a decision that, uh, for sure, the club need to uh, need to ask, and we need to talk, and we need to agree uh, the future of the squad of the on the season. And of course, he is one of the the players that we need to discuss at the moment. So far, is nothing. You know, uh, at the moment we didn't discuss. Yeah. I'm Richard. Um, Thursday was obviously very energy sapping. Did you get that sense from your players coming into this? Were they a bit exhausted after that late drama against Manchester United? If they were tired after Manchester United, then? of course they were tired. Of course, uh, but that is not an excuse today in, in not to win the game on the end. I think we need to identify two different things. One thing, they can be tired, of course. That is why we have an unbelievable training centre to provide everything. Food, vitamins, recovery, uh, swimming pool, cryotherapy, uh, muscle, you know, all that you are, uh, that you know. But and then it's about uh, to be competitive. And maybe I repeat too much. But watching football like us, 52 year old, you identify very quick when the team is ready to compete or not. And and today, that happened. You know, maybe because this group still is not mature enough to compete every single, you know, game every three days. And and of course, this type of of games that they are tougher, you know, because in in your preparation because. Maybe, like you say, relegation, uh, Sheffield is in the relegation, uh, the relegation zone or Barnley. And it's like uh, we need to think a little bit. I don't say that we mm, are disrespectful, but I think we need to think, like uh, you say before. I think if I am coach, I need to think. If I am player, I need to think, which is my responsibility, how we can, you know, be different. And I think it's, it's a good point. Um, and of course, but, but I repeat again. I am not upset. It's only that this is a process that we understand that we are living now and uh, take time always, you know, to build a strong team with a strong quality, a strong mentality, with the right profile to compete in different, you know, with the opponent the demand you uh, different, uh, you know, aspect in the in the game. Final question. We'll go to Bobby. Hi, 
Hi, Maurice. Yes. Um, Cole Palmer took a few kicks um, and he came off after about 70 minutes, I think. Is he okay or is he, yeah. is he injured? No, no, no. Just, just rest, just get, taking him off to give him a bit of rest? I think he was tired. My appreciation was, uh, my feeling was that he was tired and 2 1 for us. I think Carney is another number 10 that can play there and can do the job. Uh, yes, I think we are happy with him, only to protect him. What a, a, a knock against Manchester United, and of course, was a little bit more tired than normal. But we wanted to protect after we scored the second goal, uh, trying to give some rest and not to try to avoid, you know, problems for the future.